It is clear that the Russian military intervention in Syria has indeed introduced new dynamics into the situation. And that means that uh, making forecast speculations uh, um, are going to be, for the moment, difficult. That's one of the reasons why, in fact, I am on my way tonight uh, to Moscow. While it is true, and there is no question on that, that fighting terrorist organizations listed by the Security Council resolutions uh, are a priority, it is also true that winning, I repeat, winning terrorism can only be achieved through a parallel, I repeat, parallel, all-inclusive, transformative political process within the framework of the Geneva Communique. What we must at all costs avoid at this stage in particular is of course a continuation of the conflict and increase the possibility of reducing violence on the Syrian people and a partition which is de facto already being seen as a possibility and we consider that a tragedy. And at the same time, that the situation could move into a toxic type of cocktail and uh, of a combination of a creeping Afghanistan with shades of Libya and Somalia. Hence, need of an urgent political process to start now. Just because there is a militarization acceleration, we should see at least a increased humanitarian access and some gestures of lifting sieges and release of prisoners. Since there is no alternative but um, an intra-Syrian dialogue in preparation for what one day we hope will be the Geneva 3 conference. I was wondering what is your message 